Get ready with me for today's ASMR video. I start out by putting on my makeup. It usually takes about 15 minutes and I pretty much do the same look every single time and I still somehow mess it up. Next, I pick an outfit that fits whatever character I'm playing that day. I like muted but colorful vibes to enhance the calming effect. Lastly, I use one of my Scentbird fragrances to boost my confidence and make sure my models feel completely at ease. Today, I'm using the Grace and Monaco Ombre Serene because it has calming scents like Jasmine, Orange Blossom, and Lavender. But tomorrow is date night, so I'm going to switch it up and go with another one of my scents this month, Christian Siriano's Ooh La Rouge. This one is deep and bold and has these woody high notes that just feel perfect for going out and enjoying a night with my new husband. I love that you can get one fragrance every month for just $17 with Scentbird because I play so many different characters and it's super fun getting to match their personalities with my fragrance that month. And they come in really compact, easy to use bottles so I can just tuck them into my bag or keep them all together and choose which one I'm feeling that day. They have perfumes, colognes, and many unisex options to choose from. With each fragrance, you'll get a 30-day supply so you can try them out before committing to a full-size bottle that can cost over $150. You can use my code ChiliBASMR55 for 55% off your first month of Scentbird. That's just a little over $7 for your first month and it's available here in the US and in Canada. Thank you to Scentbird for sponsoring today's video, supporting our channel, and adding to the ASMR experience with amazing fragrances. Now relax and enjoy the video. Hi Jeremy. Hi. Welcome to your point therapy massage session today. We're just going to work on a couple of those aches and pains that you've been having in the back. According to your intake form, um, mostly been bothering you in the shoulder blades and the neck here. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. So just completely relax. I don't need anything from you in the session other than to just try and let your body sink into the table so we can address some of these pains using a little bit of the therapy. So I'm just going to check over the back since you are having some pain. Uh, make sure there's no bruising or anything obvious to avoid. A small bruise on the arm, which I'll try to avoid. Is that painful at all? Oh, no. Okay, good. Checking the neck. And the back looks pretty clear. Palpating for temperature. Also getting an initial sense of the tightness of the back here. A little bit of heat build up the upper back, mid back as well, right here. A little cooler on the bottom, cooler on the sides. So we need to get that blood that's stuck here to flow outwards. And yeah, arms are okay. of the scalp a little bit warm so we might want to do some work in the scalp. Okay, now I'm going to feel for tension. Definitely a lot of tension right here in this upper back. I can already feel some adhesions. as well. Okay. I'm going to measure a few parts of the body. First just working my way up the spine. Just going to be feeling and gently marking. Just 
tells me where everything is crunched up or spread out. A little swelling right here. It's a little harder to feel. So I'm going to measure where the scapula starts and stops. We have our lowest point here. Curving there. We'll just First, see the visual spine here. A little bit of crunching in the C3, C4 area. Moving up here. T1, T2, a little spread out. Yeah. Half there versus six. So the left scapula is sitting slightly lower. This one is slightly more compressed. symmetrical side to side. So I'm going to start just warming up the back. I'll put a little bit of oil on, just starting with light stimulation to get used to my touch. Focus first, right by doing some point and pressure work right on this um, crunchy scapula area. So what we want to do before we do any in, more in, um, intense massage or pushing on these um, places is we want to get the body to start sending healing, uh, healing information to that area before we start poking and prodding on it. That'll be much more effective of a massage once your body's already sending those white blood cells to do that work. So I'll move from soft tools that stimulate the top layer down to more um, aggressive tools that start to initiate that healing process all the way to very sharp tools that s simulates um, injury without actually causing any breakage of the skin. But what we want is for the body to begin that healing response as if you got an injury. Again, starting with the softest stimuli here. Just running it along parts of the body that we're going to be addressing.
wrapping around to start moving some of that fascia, some of that tension, creating some heat. Underneath the scapula. Along the muscles that hold up the spine. Keep it nice and straight. These muscles can get very tense, especially if you lean over a lot. we all do these days. I'm just going to be holding some points. Just let me know if it's ever too intense, okay? onto the inner brush. Again, still very um, dull, but since it's smaller, the pressure is not distributed as widely, and it's a little bit more intense, just the next level up. Going down a little. Going on to some jade sticks. Again, even smaller surface area. More pointed pressure. Starting to be a little bit of movement. A little bit of redness coming out as well, which means the blood is starting to come to the surface. That's good.
checking in with the temperature as we do this. The muscles are already more malleable, more open to this pressure, so we'll keep going. Even sharper tools. with the second sharpest tool here, really working into the skin, getting a little deeper into the muscle, holding a little longer. Pulling on to our sharpest tool now. Multiple points, I'm just going to be running it down. your break, just feeling it's cooled down a lot in this area, which is good. I think the body is ready for a little bit of massage, but first I want to just work into the hair a little bit.
And this Gua Sha Tour just has it's a comb, so it has the ability to work into the scalp really well. It should feel nice and cooling too. Those little crunchy bumps, I'm trying to smooth those out. Set this aside for now. a bit of massage now. How's this pressure for you? It's fine. Pressing on the occipital pressure point here.
start cooling down the body now. So you're going to feel something cold on your back, okay? Moving some of that drainage out and cooling down the back. some pressure rounding you into the table before we finish our session. Moving some of the oil. I'm just going to end the session as we began with some gentle brushing. just a little and I'll turn the table warmer on I want you to just relax here as long as you need you can get up anytime you're ready okay hope you have an amazing rest of your day thank you so much for being here with me thank you.